I'll fix him, that charm grinder. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too, as I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacula he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvellous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. It was a mistake parting ways with me. This must be it. This must be the cellar. Now, to find that venomous tentacular. To not let Mr. Lawley see me. Revelia. Is that venomous tentacular?
is simply too many. Ravenia! Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Confringo! Any luck retrieving a certain friend of mine from a... Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, to see the look on Lawley's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. I'm simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day handpicking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Pass that fire whiskey over here. <laughs> you have to learn to share. One of Ranrock's camps. Exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Uh, yeah. uh, such arrogance.
on Ranrock's hands. You will regret coming here. Hmm. The wind. Yeah, there's the student. Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. I should be going now. Thank you. Thank you. Sincerely. What have we here? Another human? One of the best meals I've ever eaten. It won't 
Now, find out what happened here. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Mr. Oakes's trade journal. Huh? There they are. She wasn't making it up. We've come this far. Miss Willisie might get an answer about these butterflies. And where did I set my track? Is it lower or upper Hogsford? we have here. Hogsmeade, here I come. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsey. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. 
Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Why are there so many vases around here? Try to find all the vases. I think there should only be a few more vases. Rebellion. That's it. I should tell Madame Twiddle about what happened. Oh! 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 Oh!
was a close one. Not quite. One less humor to worry about. And it trembled. It was pitiful. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. <laughs> You try. <laughs> Fairly a scratch. store for me this time. Rebellion. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. An intruder! You can see why Feldcroft me. Ranlock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have a new creature to make the all of the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. That's all of the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Do you have the special delivery from my dear friend? Hello, Mr. Ndai. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? 
I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Happy to be of assistance. At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is... Absolutely shameless. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Egg Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I... I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us. But I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer, or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. I should be going now. Thank you. I'd keep an eye on your belongings if I were you. Crattering or steal the eyebrows off I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty once night falls. Now that it's night, I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty. A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. Revelio. More gold. I must be getting closer. Oh, do with a nice mushroom stew about now. Someone there? Not your best. you to learn the error of your ways. Rebellion. Could it be a Merlin trial?
Revenia. I should investigate. Revenia. Rebellion. <laughs> A Niffler. It wasn't Catherine Haggerty after all. Revenia. Family heirloom. That must be the Haggerty family heirloom. If one more person asks... I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a Niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes. Where to find our treasures. I suppose, mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. As a matter of fact, I did. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I know... Thanks to you, I won't have to. I... What a strange world we live in. I suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. At least I've got my heirloom back. Ah. 
Khan will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. Oh. <laughs> I shall avenge your death. You are terribly unmatched. Surely you can see that. Oh, I know what that means. That was nothing but luck. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to on. I wonder who lives here. If you're here for my wedding. Come on, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I, d I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. <laughs> 